Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another huge box of jewelry. This one I can't lift. It's about 60 pounds. It's the second box of the goodies from my Secret Source um, series. <laughs> we finished the pendant and brooch box, it seems. Um, this one looks to be more bracelets and stuff. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, what we're going to start off with is, is this piece that was on top of that box. Uh, I pulled it out of the top. And it made me so sad. So, so very sad. It's a Koro necklace that's missing quite a bit. And it just makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful. But it is also so damaged. So sad. Look how pretty it was. So, I'm not betting that I'm going to find one, two, three, four, five of those stones and one of those and three of these guys. I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find that in the bottom of the box, but we are going to pull it aside and hope for the best. Now, my next trick is things that I found on other things that I found on the top of the box. And these were the inspiration for what I'm wearing tonight. I decided on rhinestones and copper. Because on top of this box were one, two, three. Six, seven, and eight copper brass and silver artisan made very heavy, very nice, shiny, shiny copper. artisan pieces. Now, here is what it looks like before it's cleaned. But I saw all this beautiful copper on there, on the top of there, and I had to clean it all. But I did leave one uncleaned for you to see the difference. Look how dull the copper gets, but when you clean it with a polishing cloth, look how gorgeous. So this is copper, sterling, and uh, the brass, <coughs> the brass that they use is called red brass, and it's called also called jeweler's gold. So it's not really gold, but it's used a lot in artisan work because it holds its shape. It doesn't bend terribly easily. Um, this one, you can tell the solid copper one. It bends really easy, really, really easy. But mixing it with sterling and the red brass gives it a little more of a backbone. Beautiful things. I'm just so, this is my new passion. <laughs> Copper brass, twisty stuff. And look at all the neat stuff you can do with it. I mean, you can buy this stamp stuff and you can buy this stamped sterling wire and um, it's just really pretty. And I love the M 
Usually if they, they put this type of an, of an ending end on it, like this. They wrap the end like that. Now whoever this guy was did a little more work with it and blended that in. So I'm just really, really, really liking that. And I don't know if I showed you this the other day. This tested out to being 12 karat gold. So it's a simple little guy and it kind of goes, it's in the same vein as these. Like you can wear it with that. But you can tell it's just slightly different color. And then I threw this one in there too. I cleaned it up. This is one of those magnetic guys. But I thought it went well with the pile. So that pile is my first batch of things from this box. But luckily they all kind of go together. So we're going to put them all in one place. I just have to figure out where that place is. Hold on. I have a box here. Little box that I can put it in. Yeah, there we go. Got there. Gorgeous things. Oh, okay. And then let's dig into that box. Grab a handful. We're at six minutes. Here is a lovely mother of pearl and black and silver tone. Stretch with very good stretch. Very, very good stretch. What's that? It's a book. Oh, it's a bug bracelet. It's a toggle with a bug. Buggity buggity. Isn't he cute? Look at him. He got rhinestones. Let's see if they're all there. Do 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 do. Are you all here? No, there are two missing. So. He's cute, but he's missing some stones. I don't know what to do with him. Oh, it's a chain. Here is a little pair of bangles. Steel. They're kind of cool, too. I'll wear that. <clears throat> Here's a pair of these guys. Indian. Indian um, brass and enamel. A red one and a black one, two different sizes. It looks to be a medium and a small. Cute, cute. Red glass. French jet. Rhinestone rondelles. That's cute. Red and black. Really nice. I like that. Real heavy. Ooh, hey. Red and black. That looks pretty together. Kind of, sort of. Next thing we have is a brooch. What is ticking over here? Okay, there we go. Super teacher, super teacher. I only know one super teacher. And I'm sure she's got a bajillion of these. <laughs> so. Okay. And next we have this crazy elephant. Does he open? No, he does not open. He looks like he's missing something here. Oh, wait, does he open? No? Looks like he's missing something here. But he sure is cool looking. And these are acrylic beads. Up to here. And then they switch over to glass. Black glass. 
That's cute. Different. Here's a stone. Black stone bracelet. Black stone. This is another elephant. It's a uh, clamper bracelet and it says It says Talbot's on it. So that's a nice one. A little black and white enamel on their little noggins. That's a cute one. I like that. Somebody liked elephants. This is Mila Fiori and Red Coral and Aurora Borealis and looks like little spacers but these look like they're uh, silver over copper because the copper is showing through a little bit it's kind of neat though I like it red is always nice here is a really cool silver tone guy and he is a Napier, come on, come on, no, it's not telling you that it's Napier, trust me, it's Napier, oh, there it went, you can see it now, it's real heavy, real nice, bracelet, look at the little, it's a West Highland white, and, uh, uh, oh, what is the black one called? Scotty Dog. Scottish Terrier and a White Highland White, what, White? West Highland White Terrier. And they are adorable little guys, and they don't have a name on them. It's so sad. Here's a big giant ring with many, many little teeny, teeny, tiny rhinestones on it. And I think they're all there. Little crystals. Very cool. Ooh. Ooh, we gotta clean this up too and see what it is. It's probably brass. I like the um, hook on it. This is an old one. Oh, look at that. It's got a little bell. That is so very cool. That needs washed or wiped or cleaned or something. Here is a very cool, oh, it's got a name, Monet bracelet, clamper, it's a little out of alignment, there we go, sweet, and we have a wood, polished wood, this is not tiger eye, it's wood. Bolo tie with the bolo tie with it, and it also still has its end caps, so that's a nice one, too. Here is a little strand of pearls, quite dirty but quite real as well. Look at the shine on those, they're very nice luster. They're a bit dusty, that's why I'm doing that. That's the one thing about the lots I get from him. They are usually quite filthy. And this one, don't think this one has a name. <sighs> there's that, and then there's that. Nope, there's no name on this one, but they're really nice pearls. And they have a really nice tight clasp, which is what you want when you got real pearls hanging on your neck. Eee, eee. Ugh. 
There we go. Very nice. Pretty, pretty. Put that like that. We are halfway done already. Here's a piece that got knocked over there. That's a little shell. Very rainbowy with the gold over top and it's a tiny teeny tiny one. I just put one aside like this for uh for Jen. A big one like that like that size. So I wonder, hmm pendants over here. Here is a Japanese Damascene piece needs to be cleaned. Very, very dirty. Here is a Damascene. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's your bump. Wow, that's a heck of a bump. And there's another one. What the heck is going on with me tonight? I must be sitting in a weird position. Here is a really pretty Damascene clipback earring with two green rhinestones, which is odd to me. They don't usually see rhinestones with Damascene at all, ever. Okay, where are we going to put the earrings? Put them here for now. We won't get too far into it without getting some boxes together so that we don't end up with too much on the table at once. Here's an Indian bangle. No name. Very cool. Black, blue, and red. Very nicely made. Here's an enamel clamper, and it's made to look like a cloisonne, but isn't. Uh, and I see a name here, but I can't quite read it. Looks like an R I N I. I want to see if you can read it. Can you see that? I can't see what that is. I'm still having trouble with my eyeballs. Here is a navy blue, it's much darker than what it looks in the camera, shell and wood. Very nice, very different. Different colors for, for that, usually you see brighter colors for these. But that's a cute one. It's a fish. It's a fish that needs some plating redone. Very cool. It's got a pearl. Faux pearl. Cute, cute. It is a very nice big giant double curb chain. And it has a fold over clasp, and it is maybe. Yep, yeah. That's really nice. Let me show you. Let me show you. Wait, where's the. Really? Mm -hmm. Does this even go? Oh, look, it's missing. Oh darn, really? Oh wait, no it isn't. <laughs> it was turned the wrong way, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I'm a dope, I'm a dope. Okay, so, Yeet! don't do that. Wasting these people's time, y'all. I just want to show you what she looks like on the mannequin. But my fingers are not working for some reason. They're throwing me all over the place tonight. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna snap or are you not gonna snap? I 
think it might be broke. It won't close. Oh, that's so sad. No. All right, well, we'll put that aside. Here's another cool one. This one is lapis. You see the gold swirls in it? This is really high quality. There's hardly any matrix in it at all. Really nice. It almost looks purple, doesn't it? Pretty neat. I really like that. It's real short, though. Look at it. That's like a 15 inch. Teeny tiny thing. Cool, though. Here's another neat one. Ah. No, don't be like that. Oh, okay. This one is has a magnetic clasp. It's a little stretched out. But it's hematite and... Hematite and amethyst. Like three, um, oh. three strands. It's one strand that goes down to three strands. And I think it's a an artisan piece. It's kind of put together a little bit wonky, but it's cool. I like it. Here's another cool one. Oh, it's got some stones missing, too. On the swoops. It's got some missing. That stinks. Because, look. It's Eisenberg. Heisenberg ice. I might have to just keep that for me and wear it even though it's missing some stuff. <laughs> because you can't sell that. Somebody had 175 on it. Look at that. It's very pretty. But with the stones missing, I don't know. Does Eisenberg go for that high with the stones missing? It's weird. We're at 22. Here is a little... Oh. Yeah. What does that say? Made in Korea. And it's called American... American Showcase. American Showcase. Whatever that means. Never heard of it. There you go. Now you can read it. But it's a little flat gold tone chain. You know, like you've seen a million times. But I've never seen one with that, that name on it. Different. Different, very, very different. Here's another one, another big old rope chain. We all have a bajillion of these. But they're really, really um, handy for when you have big pendants. And this one doesn't have a name to it. There's hardly any names. No name, no name that over here with the other one and then we have another one very nice smaller scale and this one is ta -da! he's Monet ah, come on why am I having so much trouble with the tags tonight it's also on the clasp though Hello. I don't know if it's just my eyes. I can't see. That's the back. Why is it always the back when I 
finally catch it. <laughs> Look how filthy my hands are. I barely did anything. Anyway, this is a Monet one. Very nice. Very silky. Silky, silky. And this one is gorgeous. It's an Indian piece with blue topaz. Oh wait, that's the wrong side. This side. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous! And it has this adjustable cord back, which is kind of cool. You can wear it up, you can wear it down. Let's put this here with the Eisenberg. Show it off. Pity pity, and it's not missing any stones or anything. Thank goodness. Not that I can see. I mean, I didn't check it over real good, but we're at twenty-six. To do a little bit more, just a little bit, a little bit. Just a little bit. Arta, Austria. So this is Austrian. Enamel. Arta. I'll have to look that up. It's interesting. Oh, look. Here's one with this gold tongue back. That's different. All the ones I have of these are a uh, silver tone back. Oh, look, it's a bluebird of happiness. I'm very happy. Anyway, so, he's cool. <laughs> Somebody might need him. This is cool. This is, uh, it's 1990. Whoa. 1998, and the company is Urban Fetishes. And it's very tribal, because 90s. <laughs> 90s were the day and time for tribal. This is very cool. If I can get it to focus, it has Gemini, Cancer, no, Scorpio, Leo, Virgo, Libra, uh, what are you? I, f I don't know who you are. Um, I forget who the archer is. Aries. Right there's Aries, that's me. So that's a Zodiac bracelet. That's really cool. I want to polish that up a little bit too. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Here is a little tiny bicones with Aurora Wash. They are not Austrian crystal. They are crystal, but they are that rough glass type. I don't know. They just don't feel... They're a little lighter. They sure are pretty, though. They're still pretty. Look at the colors. Nice. Here is a endless necklace with dyed... Dyed stone, whatever that is. Whatever, it's all the same stone, but it's dyed. And then it's onyx. The black part is onyx. So that's kind of neat. Very nice. Heavy. And here's a fun one. <laughs> this one is coconut shell with something laid over top of it. Applied. Something's applied to it. It's quite big and chunky and clunky. And it's got like a snake skin. And then some rough painting. Oops. 
different, different. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Hee <laughs> hee. We're at 30. And let's see. Is there anything else we can grab here? Here's a footsteps one. Steel with footsteps. It doesn't have a name. Here's a very, very blingy, blingy one with chocolate brown, dark amber, cognac, champagne, clear. So far, I've only seen one missing. See that? I can, I can uh, forgive that being missing one. Two. It's only missing two of the very tiny ones, so that's cool. Very nice, real stretchy. And we're going to end here. It is 31. Um, I want to thank you all for being here. I'm really having a great time with all this craziness. Please subscribe if you like the content. Leave a comment in the down there because I love to read your comments. And hey, I love each and every one of you. And don't forget, be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.